There we go. There. Okay, now everyone can hear me. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome to one of our really most important sessions of the afternoon. Uh, not just talking about today, but also the future. It is my honor and privilege to introduce Dr. Golruzhin, also known as Jesse, very simply, uh, esteemed legislator, serial entrepreneur, and I'm gonna say Web3 innovator. Let's give him a warm hand. Thank you. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here to uh, talk about uh, my uh, longtime uh, uh, evangelist as an evangelist and really love WordPress and use WordPress as a user and lover about WordPress. And uh, very happy to see there are some new things happening in WordPress ecosystem. Uh, for example, like Web3 Press. Okay, so these slides is kind of a fork, a fork from my friends called King Ko, the founder of Litecoin and the Litecoin chain. And uh, originally the, the title um, is uh, how I make a living with uh, writing NFT on WordPress. And this time I think uh, it's not only him to use uh, Word3 Press, to making writing NFT on WordPress, but also us. So this time I would like to share you about something like uh, Web3 on WordPress and uh, unlocking new frontiers. Okay. So uh, I would like to have a brief uh, introduction about myself. Uh, my name is uh, Yu Chung Ko. You can call me JC or Ko Sang. And, or if you are familiar with Mandarin, you can call me Ge Ru Jun or Bao Bo. And uh, I'm really lucky to become the newly elected uh, legislator at large. In the legislative yen is kind of the parliament or congress in Taiwan. And uh, also at the same time, uh, I also teach uh, some class in the National Taiwan University. And uh, my background is uh, communication, information and communication. And then after that, I got my PhD on uh, computer science in National Taiwan University in 2012. And uh, for these uh, few years, I do something about uh, Web3, emerging technology, blockchain, VR, AI, a lot of stuff because I really love it. So um, last year I was uh, in Densu, Japan, uh, Densu, Taiwan as a Web3 uh, growth partner. And also I'm really lucky to become one of the most influential people of the year in Taiwan of a particular very famous uh, blockchain media, Block Temple. And also, uh, I'm really lucky to become the, one of the top tech podcaster. Uh, I have my podcast show called JC in Tech, uh, about tech, about Web3, about blockchain, about AI, all kinds of, uh, uh, all kind of things. And uh, I'm really lucky to be able to invite it, uh, Vitalik Buterin to my show like uh, a, um, a few, few weeks ago. And uh, I've with a few millions downloads. And I won some awards and I do some things about uh, uh, inventing something like a VR 360 camera and uh, got some red dot award, something like that. And also, uh, I'm one of the, the first Taiwanese to join Singularity University in Silicon Valley. And uh, also, like I said, that uh, I'm the evangelist for many years on uh, WordPress. So like in 2013 in Taipei, and we have the WordPress 10th year's anniversary in Taipei called WP10. And at that time, uh, WordPress is not so famous like right now. And uh, I'm... Uh, really love it, so I'm the meetup planners to create a Taipei meetup back to uh, 2013. And at that time, I just uh, called some friends and uh, we all love WordPress. 
and we have a tiny mini and casual meetup in a coffee shop in Taipei. So this is me, and this is me, and maybe look a little bit different, but that's me, okay? And also in 2017, because I'm running a startup at that time, so I have a new website. I'm uh, really impressed by the, the new version and new plugins and the new themes of WordPress. So I created a, a WordPress website for my business, a startup business uh, called Luna, Luna Camera. So at that time, I, I built a, a really, for me, it's a really uh, interesting experience because at that time, uh, building a website by WordPress become easier and uh, amazing. And also at that time, I, I tried to embed uh, 360 uh, VR video on my website of this project. It's uh, really impressive. So this time I'm here, a really uh, amazing event, and uh, it's my pleasure to be here to share some uh, thoughts about Web3 Press. And like I said, that uh, this uh, slice is uh, kind of uh, uh, like an interaction or like um, a fork uh, from my friends called King Ko. King Ko uh, was uh, the founder of uh, Litecoin and Litecoin Chain. He gave uh, the similar talk uh, back to uh, 2023 uh, in Bangkok or maybe in Thailand somewhere. And uh, 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 Kinko is a very good friend. Uh, he is uh, the, the, the creator behind uh, everything of uh, Litecoin. And he wrote a lot of books. Uh, he's a book lover. I'm a book lover as, as well. And uh, we make a lot of content. And uh, I made my first blog back to 2004. At that time, WordPress may be not a very good choice at that time. So I used uh, some ancient boutique solution called the movable type. Uh, is there anyone remember this solution? Yeah. So at that time, I built my first block back to 2004. And after that, I found out there was uh, a better solution called WordPress. So I make my uh, personal website, I make my uh, company website all by WordPress. And uh, after like 2017, I fall in love with uh, blockchain, decentralized application. So I built my new website as an e-commerce website, but connect with a digital wallet like MetaMask, and all done, everything done by WordPress and with the plugin, amazing plugin on uh, WordPress Marketplace. And right now I have my new website available on uh, juchonko.com. If you have time, you can pay a visit. And I'm also, I'm a, a book lover and I also wrote books. Um, the, the left one is uh, my, my, my book uh, published in 2015. And after that, I introduced a lot of new books from US to Taiwan, including one of the, the bestseller book about the metaverse uh, wrote by Matthew Ball. Uh, the, 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 the name of the book is uh, Metaverse. And also, the Glenn Weil wrote a very interesting, amazing book called Radical Markets. And uh, I'm like kind of a local instructor of this book. And I wrote a few chapters for this book. And also, I'm really proud that I can co-work with the uh, publisher of uh, Vitalik's books, The Mandarin Version. Uh, of his book in Taiwan, and uh, I'm also the instructor of this book. So I'm, uh, I really love those kind of new content, new technology, and uh, at the, back to the 2014, something happened and made me, you know, like why opened my, my eyes and uh, uh, see a lot of new stuff is uh, the, the experience that I participated into 
an educational program in Silicon Valley in Mountain View is uh, Singularity University. It's uh, a new educational program back to 2009 and uh, it's uh, co-funded and uh, get participate and get support from Google and NASA. So Singular what, what is Singularity University? It's kind of like uh, an educational program. It's just like a university and it's located in NASA campus in Mountain View. And they, the, they found the two key founders. One is the Dr. Peter Diamandis and uh, another is Dr. Ray Kurzweil. And Dr. Ray Kurzweil is a very famous future, futurist and uh, he is the kind of the inventor of uh, a, a, a key word called uh, technological singularity point. So after he wrote the book, uh, Singularity is Near, he's kind of um, very, very involved uh, a lot uh, into to the, the, the movement. The, he he wants to make... Uh, everyone to know about the this singularity point about technology so he 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 paid a visit to google and meet the two founders and got their support to create a university and to talk about a lot of stuff uh, about uh, uh, emerging technology and uh, try to make uh, a new like invention or new startup uh, all around uh, those new uh, emer emerging technology. So this uh, university tried to uh, bring a lot of famous speaker, famous student all together into the campus. So every, every year, Singularity University will only take 80 participants from all over the world. Back to 2014, there are 80 participants uh, selected from more than 10,000 applications. And 80 participants were selected from more than 35 countries and regions all over the world. And at that time, I'm really lucky to be the first Taiwanese to get into the Singularity University. And uh, after that, I uh, graduate from the Singularity University and I get aware and uh, familiar with uh, all kinds of e exponential technology. At that time, I wrote my first line of code about uh, uh, deep learning, and I also learned something about the gene editing, like CRISPR case 9 and I got the fully understanding about uh, self-driving car. And uh, very important is at that time, we are really focusing on a lot of project about AI. But back to 2014, AI start growing a lot and we are thinking what's next. So at that time, I have a amazing uh, discussion with a lot of talent, including NASA engineer or like engineer from Tesla. And we all agree that's the next trend or the next ex exponential technology will definitely impact a new area. It's called economics. So we think that uh, in the next few years or 10 years or 20 years, there will be an exponential economics. That means technology will not only impact uh, like uh, the industry or making new three, a new product or a new gadget, it will have a deeply impact to our society, especially in economics. And why is uh, why we are thinking like that is that at that time we we first met uh, the the new technology called blockchain. So this is my roommate uh, in Singularity University called uh, Canalis uh, Savendo. And uh, at that time, he's uh, one of the earliest founder of uh, a Bitcoin exchange in Mexico City back to uh, 2013. And he's a really uh, uh, enthusiast uh, about Bitcoin at that time. He tried to persuade me to buy a lot of Bitcoin uh, back to 2013, but I don't believe it at that time. 
But uh, after a few months, I got to learn a lot of information and knowledge about blockchain and Bitcoin. I kind of uh, changed uh, from a spec a skepticism from a uh, from a skepticism to a believer. So uh, I bought my first Bitcoin from his hands. So this is the the very important. Uh, a photo taking at that time because uh, I'm really lucky to got my first Bitcoin at a really sweet price, uh, kind of like uh, 600 US dollar, and today is maybe uh, 60,000 US dollar. However, uh, I did. I, I don't want to encourage you at one every, each one of you to try new technology too soon because at that time, uh, my big my first Bitcoin. Uh, very quickly went from uh, a 600 US dollar to become only two, $260. So I'm a little bit nervous. I am uh, really nervous about maybe Bitcoin will become nothing. However, at that time, like many people say, that uh, skin in the game is very important. So at that time, I Google, Google Bitcoin, Google uh, blockchain a lot on the internet, and I'm really lucky to uh, to 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 cut a, a, a slice and a, a presentation made by A16Z. And uh, in this presentation, uh, they say that uh, every Many uh, every few years, uh, there will be a new exponential trends uh, will come, like uh, PC internet, mobile internet, and what's next. And uh, this is the answer. Um, there will be AI, there will be cryptocurrency, there will be mixed reality, there will be autonomy, and this will become a new cycle for a uh, human society. And this slice is like a prophecy. It's, uh, they made this slice back to 2017. And uh, right now, when we see it, uh, it's become true. Like we have a chat GPT, and we might uh, see the new old time high about uh, Bitcoin. And then uh, Vision Pro is here, and maybe next generation of Vision Pro will be better. And then we will see the Tesla Optimus in the market. So this company, they are really um, kind of like evangelists of blockchain technology and Web3. And the founder of this uh, VC or VC firm or this uh, like really amazing company is Andreessen and Horowitz. Mark Anderson is the creator and the founder of uh, one of the first browser in the world called Mosaic. And he's also the founder of the second famous uh, browser called Netscape Navigator uh, back to 1994. And Ben Horowitz is also an amazing investor. He invested Airbnb, GitHub, Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, in very early years. So they are really uh, embrace all the technology about Web3, blockchain, and crypto. So a lot of people ask them why crypto is important and why you think Web3 is important. And all every time the, the, the answer will be the same, like, Crypto in 2017 is just like HTML in 1994. So this is a really early years for Web3 generation. And many people will ask like, right now the Bitcoin is already all time high. It's like uh, 60,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. Are we too late? And uh, I have to quote, uh, the Mark Andreessen's uh, very famous sentence here is uh, never too late. He said that uh, I arrived in Silicon Valley in 1994 and I thought I was too late and missed the whole thing. So before I introduce Web3 Press to you, I have to show you like why it's important to know a little bit about blockchain, crypto, and Web3. So what's blockchain? Blockchain is the next era of the internet, and it was born with money. 
a new ability to transmit the digital native money. From 1969, we have an internet. You can only send or transfer or like uh, have a dialogue, like uh, purely text. And after that, we can send uh, maybe a picture, and then we can send a music like MP3, and then we can send a movie, and right now we can stream whole movie on the internet. But uh, from 2008, after Satoshi created uh, a blockchain, this is, that's the first time we can send or transfer the digital native money. And what is money? Right now we will say the US dollar bill is money, new Taiwan dollar is money, uh, maybe line points in Taiwan is money, or like uh, the PayPal dollar is, is money. However, uh, for economists, money could be anything. Like uh, a gold yellow stone, like, uh, yeah, it's gold, or like silver, anything could be money. So you can imagine like if you are the first person in the world think a gold yellow stone worth something, worth a chicken, worth a cow, maybe other people won't believe you. It's just like uh, the Bitcoin holder or a Bitcoin lover, they will not trust or uh, they will not trust a, a traditional US bill. They think Bitcoin is the money. I want to say that is money could be anything with consensus. So let's watch a, a, a short clip about a very funny video. It says that if you were the first person, uh, one of the first person think gold worth something, maybe you won't be liked by the other people. They will not believe you. So let's see the movie. Okay. Redskins, Dotto Heads, Tepid Lemonade. Get out of it. Redskins, Dotto Heads, Tepid Lemonade. Hey, mate. I'll take uh, five of your Redskins and one of those Tepid Lemonades. It's one chicken, mate. It's not a chicken. No, 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 that's much better than a chicken, my friend. That is gold. What? Gold, the currency of the future. Great, come back in the future. Ratskin, no, 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 mate, I don't think you understand. This has unlimited use. Can I eat it? No. Can I wear it? N no. You're... Can I use it as firewood? No. It's starting to sound pretty limited, mate. But you can melt it and then turn it into whatever you want. Can I turn it into food? No, you Sorry. can't eat. Is this going to take oh, long? Hold all your horses, mate. We are dealing in futures here. Oh, what's that? Is that a rock? No, worse. It's cold. Oh, gold. cold. How do I get some cold? Uh, gold. I have people mining for it. Oh, you have people. la dee -da. We've got a rich one here, eh? <laughs> what do you pay them with? Gold. Ugh. Next. No, no, they say that this currency could be worth 1,000 rat skins, maybe even more, in just a few years. Says who? The people with gold. Fuck. Next. Look, every economy ever has been controlled by the big chicken banks. Next. And this is our opportunity to get out from under the big chicken boots. Fuck me. Next. Shake up the market and start taking back our economic independence. Are you with me? <sighs> no. Really? Come on, man. Look, all my mates are doing it. I'll just get your hand off it, all right? Everyone's trying to predict the next alt rock. First it was stone, then bronze, then iron, now gold. What can I even do with this shiny shit? Make fucking jewellery out of it or something? Yes! Yes, you can do that! Great idea, because it's malleable. And, best part of all, there's fuck all of it. It's a finite resource! Mate, I'll tell you what a finite resource is. My fucking patience right now. Piss off! You know what? Stuff it. I'm taking it back. That's like talking to my dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you go discover avocado and smash it on toast, you dickhead? Yeah, maybe I will. Sorry, mate. Uh, I'll have a dodo head, thanks. Half a chicken. Piss on me, not you two. Oh, no, 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 no. This is way better than gold. It's silver, or as I like to call it, light gold cash. It's faster to mine. It's... <laughs> 
It's got to be the last one, surely. Ratskins, dodo heads, very tepid lemonade. Get it here. Desert warm. So anything could be money based on consensus. So blockchain technology is just a decentralized ledger. It's to distribute and to make ledger more safe and more ledger holder. And ledger holder will get reward to to get more ledger holder and to make it become more safe. And uh, the ledger will be like a Voldemort. It will not be very easily to be killed because it's distributed. So like Voldemort. So right now I spend a, a few minutes of time to explain that uh, two key factor about blockchain and digital currency. First is distribute. Is distribute its ledger into like thousands or more than thousand servers or computers, and everyone could be the ledger holder and make it more safe and more easier to collect or generate consensus. And after that, some genius, one or few genius guide, a uh, guy who created a new generation of blockchain to make it. Programmable. Vitalik Buterin is the key person to create an Ethereum network, and he worked with uh, Gavin Wood to create a new stuff called smart contract. And if you use smart contract, you can issue, you can transfer, you can write code and run on the blockchain. It's like thousand uh, connected computers. So let's see what smart contract can do. Okay, let's see this video by Bloomberg. Welcome to New York City, the crown jewel of the real estate market. Everybody wants a piece. And now, thanks to blockchain technology, that may very well be possible. This $36.5 million development is being sliced into digital shares, or tokenized as it's called, so that investors around the world can own as much or as little as they can afford. We have the typical bank financing on this project with a conventional bank, and this loan matures in January. We decided to take a right turn and tokenize the debt here on the property. The construction is 95% complete. We are starting to get inspections in the next week or so. If we have a bank deadline on us where we have to sell a certain amount of units or repay the entire loan by a certain date. If construction's been delayed, if the market turns, if competition pops up and we're not gonna be able to hit that deadline, what do you do? So by tokenizing the debt, it gives everyone breathing room to sell at a normal pace with the market instead of against it. The people behind this offering reside across the East River, in that other borough. Here, the blockchain startup Fluidity has teamed up with broker-dealer firm Propeller to generate tokens by crafting smart contracts. And in so doing, they could be changing the way we all do business in the future. When we started to look at the real estate industry, it's probably one of the most inefficient industries that exists currently. You have a lot of middlemen, a lot of lawyers, a lot of bankers. Uh, and just being able to create uh, something that has real impact on an industry like that, uh, I think you're looking at significant disruption. But for a project determined to eliminate middlemen, there's a lot of people involved. Motivator. Coder. And I'm a lawyer. Facilitator. Strategy. Project manager. Developer. Co-founder. I'm just the broker. I'm a fan. An important party that is absent in this equation is a bank. There will not be a bank involved. The process goes something like this. These guys create tokens on the blockchain. The tokens represent the condo unit's debt and can be traded as private securities. If token holders sell their shares, the purchaser can either preserve the tokens on the blockchain or cash them out, thereby dissolving these tokens altogether. This theoretically would produce more liquidity to a notoriously illiquid market. It's a hard asset-backed secured loan. We're taking private securities and we're putting a digital wrapper around them, which makes it easier to track and easier to transfer. There's only four assets you can own in the world, a stock, a bond, a currency, or a commodity. And we think every single one of them is going to get digitized, tokenize the world. And that's already happening. A UK company recently tokenized this Andy Warhol, 
Now, 100 people own 31.5% of this $5.6 million painting. And when it rises in value, the tokens will as well. So, so far, there are, there are already like more than 1,000 different kind of uh, applications uh, run by smart contract and running on the blockchain. Those type of application, we call it dApps, or decentralized applications. At some point before, uh, we only use blockchain to, to hold a digital currency, to hold a, a distributed ledger, to have a digital native money. However, at some point, a genius artist, people, uh, is uh, the first famous uh, digital artist to issue his work on blockchain by a new protocol called NFT. It makes a token like uh, a collectibles that people can collect and trade. So NFT is like a non-fungible token. Uh, you can collect it and you can save it, you can transfer it, or you can trade. So it's like Andy Warhol, he made a very famous work called $1 bill. He just pick a $1 bill and uh, make sure the ID number is he like it. And also he put on his uh, signature, a real physical signature, and uh, 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 have a, 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 a stamp on it and send it to his friends. And uh, when he sent to his friends, there is a, a stamp with a time labeling. And then uh, when his uh, friend's post office got this uh, dollar bill, they uh, have a new stamp with a new time, time labeling on this uh, dollar bill. So this $1 bill is uh, now worth more than $1, of course, because it has uh, a, a signature, it has a time labeling, it has, a, you know, some beautiful number 9250 and have a, a beautiful stamp on it. So uh, this $1 bill is now worth more than 1 million US dollar. So NFT is like a collectible token on the blockchain, okay? So the creator of NFT has a really great example called CryptoKitties. Every CryptoKitty token is collectible token, okay? So I will skip this video, uh, however, it's very cute, but you can check it online, okay? CryptoKitties on YouTube. So I want to tell you that uh, the Web3 is the next generation of internet. And at some point, we already have Bitcoin, we already have NFT, and we already have Metaverse. Bitcoin is like the money, original native money in virtual digital world. And NFT is like uh, something in digital world. And Metaverse is like a place in digital world. So I really like it because it's like a next generation of digital life. However, some people don't like it, but we like it. And uh, from Web 1, we have uh, the authority to do something like read only from the internet. And uh, in the Web 2 generation, we can read, we can write. So we have a social media, we have a CMS, but uh, only in Web 3, we can read, we can write, and we can own, and we can collect. So in Web3 generation, we have a new kind of uh, content management or content publish uh, platform. It's like uh, this one. This one is very famous in Web3 world. It's a mirror.xyz. Every article you wrote will become, an, will become an NFT. And your readers can collect and can sell it on NFT marketplace. So uh, Kinko has his uh, mirror site and I also have my mirror site. And I try to write some articles on it and then I can issue NFT uh, of my article. Although my article is free to read, available for everyone, but if there is someone really like me or really like this article, 
he can collect this article. And not only collect this article, he can make friends with the other collector. And also, if someday I'm really famous, or someday this article become very famous or valuable, he can trade it on OpenSea or any other type of NFT marketplace. So you can trade it, you can sell it, you can buy it just like Elon Musk buy a, a, a bored ape NFT. Okay. So at some point, uh, we love WordPress, but WordPress is not yet ready to to work together with the Web3 generation writers. So uh, King Co, they created a Litecoin, they created a Litecoin chain. They would like to provide a, a, a ability to, for WordPress and uh, to all the writers on WordPress to be able to very easily to create writing NFT by their articles. So nowadays, if you search uh, plugin with the keyword Web3, you will see a new plugin called Web3 Press. And by Web3 Press, you can very easily to convert your articles to become a, a writing NFT and be able to be to collect by your readers. And someday they can trade it, they can sell it, they can buy it. And the first step you have to do is you have to have a new ID in Web3 Internet. And uh, the first step you have to do is you have to, to, to download or install or join into a, a blockchain ecosystem. So Litecoin chain or Litecoin is a, 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 a crypto ecosystem based on Cosmos. And uh, the top, top and the most popular uh, wallet on Cosmos ecosystem is Kepler. And you can download it and install it on your browser. And you, the only one thing you need to do is to, um, to write uh, to write it down, the, the past, past phrase uh, on your computer or on some paper and write it down and never disclose it. And after that, you can get some a very tiny uh, like amount of Litecoin for free on this website. So after that, you have a wallet, you have an identity on Litecoin chain and you have a WordPress website with a plugin installed, then you can very easily to publish your article. And after that, you can um, uh, generate a writing NFT uh, by one click. And after you generate an NFT, you will also get a very interesting, unique ISCN created by Litecoin chain community. It's an international standard content number. It will be, it will never be forget by the internet. It will be forever exist on the blockchain. Maybe not on internet, but of course it will uh, last long and uh, live long and prosper on blockchain. So this is the interface of Web3 Press, and after that, you will get your writing NFT on Litecoin platform. So any uh, readers can very easily to pay a very little Litecoin to collect your work. No matter is a video, no matter is a photo shooting or like uh, any kinds of digital content, you can make it as a uh, writing NFT. And then you can collect the new holders or new uh, make a new friends with a lot of creators on this ecosystem. And uh, every article is able to become an NFT and be able to collect by your readers. So this is the activities uh, made by King Cole. He sell his articles 
as an NFT very easily on the Litecoin ecosystem. And uh, uh, me as well. And uh, you, if you want to check, you can try to Google it. And I write some articles and uh, very easily to be able to convert my article into a writing NFT. And also, but uh, uh, most of the, t the time, I will make it uh, all free. So you can claim it uh, for free. And with this, I can uh, connect with my reader uh, with an, uh, by a new way. And uh, uh, at some day, maybe they can sell it on OpenSea with maybe a uh, few Ether or something, or trade w with others by their board apes NFT. So uh, I also, as a creator, and I also, as a collector of a lot of uh, a book NFT or like article NFT published on Litecoin chain. The most important thing is because there is a consensus of those types of digital currencies. Some people believe and trust those currencies worth something, just like a gold uh, many, many years ago. So if you collect NFT or sell NFT, if you get some Litecoin, you can very easily to use your uh, digital wallet and to connect some exchange, uh, a digital currency exchange service, uh, for example, like this one, Osmosis, and you can swap your Litecoin into some digital form of US dollar. It's called like USDC. It's all regulated in US. So after you got some USDC, you can transfer those USDC into a digital currency credit card. And then after that, you can buy some food and uh, make you happy. So writing an article, originally you just uh, for fun or, uh, or for friends, but right now you wrote an article, you can make it for food. Okay, so this uh, screenshot is, was taken by um, uh, King Cole. He earned uh, some Litecoin by these three articles, uh, quite a lot, right? It's uh, worth like w more than 1,000 US dollar. So right now he's really happy and walk around in Taipei with a lot of delicious food paid by Litecoin, uh, transferred into USDC and he can pay for food by a crypto credit card. So writing could earn money by Web3 technology and by cryptocurrency. If you are the WordPress user or writer, I really encourage you to try to get some knowledge or to meet some friends uh, who is the supporter or a user of Web3 technology, for example, like uh, Ethereum or Cosmos. And then I really encourage you to download and try Web3 Press on WordPress. And uh, after that, remember, you have to install a wallet to get your first ID or identity on blockchain. So if you want to learn more, you can pay a visit to a website called liker.land you can learn everything about Litecoin and Litecoin chain and also Litecoin foundation. And if you are engineer, you can also become a node, a ledger holder on blockchain as a Litecoin uh, blockchain ledger holder. And uh, also you can check on internet about Osmosis. It's like an um, exchange, cryptocurrency exchange made by smart contract running on blockchain, running on distributed computers. So that's it. Uh, I really thanks to King Cole to uh, make this uh, whole slides as a Creative Commons uh, 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 presentation. It's a CC0, uh, it's uh, his uh, slides 
uh, already made uh, a presentation uh, to, and in 2023 uh, is uh, how I make a living with writing NFT on WordPress uh, in WordCamp Asia 2023. And this time uh, it's my honor to be here to show you the similar path and uh, also encourage you to experience the, 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 the Web3. And uh, I believe writing could be fun, could uh, make you some friends, but uh, also could bring you some food, okay? So that's uh, my experience about how we make a living with writing NFT on WordPress, uh, not in a, uh, WordCamp Asia 2023, it's in WordCamp Asia 2024. Thank you very much. Casey Cole, thank you so much. Uh, I think this is the first session I've ever heard talk about tepid lemonade and fiat currencies for the WordPress audience. A, a wonderful session, thank you very much. I think we have time for maybe one or two questions, yeah. but uh, I'm so help, uh, glad if we could put the slide back up on yeah. how to get uh, in contact with you and first steps, uh, I think that's critical. Uh, the uh, the we, space is moving very quickly. W w which slides? Uh, whatever you feel is the one that helps WordPress people uh, get started. Ah, oh, sure. Yes, that's what we want to talk about. Yeah. Just so people can take pictures of it, have it in their mind on how to, you know what are the next steps yeah, maybe that we one. can take yeah. with uh, WordPress and the community. So we talk about WordPress. We talk about the entire uh, transactional ecosystem. Where do you see the open source uh, combination between the two? Oh yeah, um, the 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 plugin uh, Web3 Press I believe is fully open source, and uh, because uh, uh, this uh, Litecoin Chain Foundation is uh, like a community, every developer is uh, like a, uh, like a participant and also volunteer. So it's all welcome everywhere, uh, every engineer from everywhere to involve and uh, make it like keep growing and uh, keep improving. I like to think it's sort of like the democratizing of economies. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Publishing. Uh, are there any other questions out in the audience? There's gotta be some. This was a very deep and rich, complicated topic, I have to say. Um, and I am blind out here, so I, can't, <laughs> I don't know if you see anyone out there. Uh, what would be the, the, the first most important step if you're just learning about this what, and you're working in WordPress? Yeah, uh, I think uh, first thing you can just uh, search uh, a Litecoin or a Web3 Press on the plugin store. And also if you want to learn more about blockchain or distributed publishing, or like uh, writing NFT, you can go check on uh, liker.land. Uh, they spend a lot of time to um, try to make a new friends on the Web2 community. And the uh, Web3 people, they are really friendly. And uh, uh, the, the, the information and knowledge is uh, very easy. It's uh, very easy to understand. Uh, if you just pay a visit, you can learn a lot very quickly. So when you come back next year, yeah, what will have changed? Yeah, maybe there will be Web Four <laughs> or Web Five. No, I, I I think for me I'm a kind of a believer that uh, uh, Web Three technology or crypto technology will be a mainstream. Like for example, like this year is will be very important year for crypto technology because it will be have a new bull market you will see you might well see the new all-time high of bitcoin however maybe not everyone believe on that but uh, i believe there will be more engineer involved into creating those types of application or plugin so i will I will be. I will think that uh, next year there will be like ten times of users and developers in Web three, and we will build a lot of amazing stuff on WordPress or on any other type of platform. We're getting there with Bitcoin. I think just yeah. the other day it was sixty thousand US, sixty seven thousand USD somewhere around yeah. there. Um, 
we still have like two or three minutes. So yeah, sure. The ultimate question, of course, is how will AI impact <laughs> all of this? Yeah, um, I think uh, AI could be very useful, but uh, it's also kind of scary, right? Because um, for me, I, I, I'm a little bit... Uh, a little bit worried about that because uh, as a digital content creator, a writer, and a podcaster, I kind of think I can just uh, uh, keep watching movie and be lazy and I can make my digital clone to make a new episode of podcast. And also I can create uh, a mini AI of me to write uh, as many as article I want. So I keep thinking that uh, digital native content could be dying, okay? However, however, I still believe there are something, something uh, have to connect to humanity or uh, our physical world. So today I'm really happy to be here because we are using a digital native content management system and platform called WordPress is amazing. However, we have a physical event and we, have, we can have a physical touch. So I think this is the trend and this is the future. So we kind of like a, a little bit scary or afraid about AI, and, uh, but at the same time, we should embrace it and also embrace real world and uh, physical touch. I love the positive conclusion of that. Thank you so much, Dr. Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. Thank you.